In this video, we're going to review the top 3 trend filter indicators that can be used to filter out fake or bad signals when trading. Filtering out fake signals is crucial to the long-term success of any trading strategy, and that's where trend filter indicators come into play. They help confirm the overall direction of a trend and therefore eliminate noise in the market, ultimately increasing the number of profitable trades. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So in the third place, we have a trend filter indicator called Donkey and Trend. Click on Indicators, then type here Donkey and Trend, and select this one by Lonesome the... Um, oh, it's Lonesome the Blue. Yeah. Also, I'm going to be using the one hour time frame for this showcase, just so you know. Then we're going to double click on the indicator so we can change some settings. On the Inputs tab, change the Donkey and Channel period to 24. Then on the Style tab, Uncheck these two options right here and then click OK. Now going through this indicator, you'll notice that it's a really good indicator that can be used as a trend filter. But how does it work? Well, when it's colored green and the price is trading above it, that is considered a bullish trend and we should be looking to take only long trades. Conversely, when it's colored red and the price is trading below it, that is considered a bearish trend and we should be looking to take only short trades. Now, to show you an example of how we can use this indicator to trade, let's add a buy-sell indicator called Parabolic SAR. Remember, the strategies we're going to showcase in this video are not meant to be traded blindly. They're just for educational purposes, so you can have an idea of how these trend indicators work. Let's double-click on the Parabolic SAR indicator to access the settings panel. On the Style tab, uncheck this PSAR option and this Trade State Filling option and then click OK. The Parabolic SAR indicator is a super famous buy-sell indicator and it's going to be used as our entry signal. It's probably one of the easiest indicators to use on the planet. When it says buy, we buy. When it says sell, we sell. Now, how are we going to combine these two indicators to create a profitable trading system? Well, I'll tell you. But before that, what broker do you guys use to trade? Personally, I use Henko Trade. As you can see here, this is my trading history. I mainly scalp gold. And up here, you can see that it's a live account. The reason why I love Henko Trade so much is because of their extremely low commissions and spreads. On Forex, for example, the spreads can go as low as 0.0, .0 pips, which is the lowest it can go. For those of you that love high leverage, Henko Trade offers up to 500x leverage, which basically means that my $1,000 deposit could have the buying power of $500,000, which is really insane. And if that's not enough, they're also going to give you a 100% bonus for all your deposits up to $25,000. So if you deposit, say, $500, they're going to give you a bonus of $500, so you'll have $1,000 to trade with. To get access to the bonus, as well as all the other perks, sign up to Henko Trade using the link in the description of this video. Now, back to the video. To take a long trade, here are the conditions. First, the donkey and trend should be colored green and the price should be trading above it. This indicates a bullish trend. Second, the parabolic SAR indicator should print a buy signal. This indicates that the market is shifting from a short-term bearish trend to a short-term bullish trend. We're going to enter a long trade here, set our stop loss below the most recent swing low, which is the lowest price point reached by the last 5 to 10 candles. For the take profit, we're going to set it at 2 times the risk. We let this trade run, and it hits take profit. For short trades, we're just going to reverse all the conditions. So first, the donkey and trend should be colored red, and the market should be trading below it. This indicates a bearish trend. Second, the parabolic SAR indicator should print a sell signal. This indicates that the market is shifting from a short-term bullish trend to a short-term bearish trend. We're going to enter a short trade here. Our stop loss is going to go above the most recent swing high, which is the highest price point reached by the last 5 to 10 candles. For the take profit, we're going to set it at 2 times the risk. We let this trade run, and it hits take profit. This is a really good trend filter indicator and I definitely recommend it. Go ahead and take a look at it and see how you can use it alongside your strategy. Now, in the second place, we have a trend filter indicator called IFMAS system. This indicator is so powerful and can help you avoid a lot of losses when trading live. To add the second indicator, click here and type in IFMAS system. 
select this one by axis trading. Now, the IFMAS system combines these 10 different indicators and uses that data to identify bullish and bearish trends in the market. When each of these 10 lines on the IFMA system is colored bright green, that would mean that all these 10 indicators are aligned to a bullish trend. Conversely, when each of the 10 lines are colored bright red, that would mean that all these 10 indicators are aligned to a bearish trend. Now here, you'll notice that the indicator also changes the bar colors. We don't need this, so let's just disable that option in the settings of the indicator. Now, to take a long trade, these are the conditions. First, the parabolic SAR indicator should print a buy signal. Second, at the time the buy signal is printed, all the 10 lines of the IFMA system should be colored bright green. All these lines should be colored bright green. If any other lines is not bright green, that setup becomes invalid. We're gonna enter a long trade here, set our stop loss below the most recent swing low. For the take profit, we're gonna set it at two times the risk. We let the trade run and take profit. For short trades, we're gonna reverse all the conditions. First, the parabolic SAR indicator should print a sell signal. Second, at the time the sell signal is printed, all the 10 lines of the IFMA system should be colored bright red. If any other lines is not bright red, that setup becomes invalid. We're gonna enter a short trade here, stop loss above the most recent swing high, and for the take profit, we're gonna set it at two times the risk. We let the trade run and take profit. Last but not least, in the first place, we have a trend filter indicator called market bias. This one by Professor X. Double click on the indicator to access the settings panel, on the inputs tab, change the period to 60 and smoothing to 30. Then on the style tab, uncheck this first option and then click OK. The market bias indicator tries to determine the overall trend of the market using smooth high Kanashi candles. Just like the first indicator, this indicator uses color to filter out bullish and bearish trends. When it's colored bright and dark green, that is a bullish trend. And when it's colored bright and dark red, that is a bearish trend. Now, how do we trade with this indicator? Well, to take a long trade, these are the conditions. First, the market bias trend ribbon, this guy right here, should be colored green and the market should be trading above it. This indicates a bullish trend. Second, the market should pull back and touch the market bias trend ribbon without breaking and closing below it. If it breaks and closes below the ribbon like it did right here, we'll have to skip that setup. Next, at the time the price touches the market bias indicator, the trend ribbon should be colored dark green to further validate that pullback. If it's still colored bright green by the time the price touches it, we'll have to skip that setup. After the pullback, we want the very next signal on the parabolic SAR indicator to be a buy signal. We're gonna enter a long trade here, set our stop loss below the most recent swing low. For the take profit, we're gonna set it at two times the risk. We let the trade run, and as you can see, it decided to hit take profit. For short trades, we're gonna reverse all the conditions. So first, the market bias trend ribbon, this guy right here, should be colored red and the market should be trading below it. This indicates a bearish trend. Second, the market should pull back and touch the market bias trend ribbon without breaking and closing above the ribbon. If it breaks and closes above the ribbon like it did right here, we'll have to skip that setup. Next, at the time the price touches the market bias indicator, the trend ribbon should be colored dark red to further validate that pullback. If it's still colored bright red by the time the price touches it, you simply skip that setup. After the pullback, we want the very next signal on the parabolic SAR indicator to be a sell signal. We're gonna enter a short trade here, stop loss above the most recent swing high. For the take profit, we're gonna set it at two times the risk. We let the trade run and full TP. Which one of these three indicators do you guys think has the most potential? Is it the one in the first place, the one in the second place, or the one in the third place? Let us know in the comment section below. That's been it for this video. Hope you found some value. If you did, hit the like button below and consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.